second trimester update. <laughs> yeah, second trimester. <laughs> um. As you guys can see, I was I've a little out of it. Pregnancy makes you very tired, and my thoughts were all like over the place. The whole fucking trimester. And I never, but let's just talk about what I encountered during the second trimester. Um, good thing is, I did not get sick at all. I was still pretty tired. Um, maybe not as tired as I was in the first trimester, but I was still tired throughout the whole trimester. Um, your nipples. My nipples were so, they are so freaking sore. Like they hurted every day. <laughs> hurted. Yeah, my nipples hurted every day. Um, and I don't know if there's anything to cure that besides moisturizing them or putting oil, butter, or whatever. Um, and then also during the second trimester, my stomach got really itchy because it was growing and it was getting bigger. Dry skin and breakouts for like the first half of the second trimester. I was getting like a whole bunch of, <laughs> I was getting like a whole bunch of whiteheads and stuff and it just was not fun. My skin was so freaking dry during the second trimester. I don't know what it was. I mean, it also was during winter time and it was super cold here in Washington. So I don't know if it was pregnancy related or the weather just sucked here and it just sucked all of the moisture out of my face. But my like nose around here would be like peeling like white uh, dead skin cells and whatnot. But yeah, it wasn't too bad. The first half of the second trimester, it was all right. It wasn't that tired. Second half of the trimester, life uh, life got really real. The pregnancy got real and I got more tired. My back was hurting just a little bit, more so like my hip joints every so often, like maybe once a week, my hips would hurt. I did feel more hungrier during the second trimester towards the end of it. I was peeing way more. Like it was like everything that you experience, well that I experienced in the first trimester, but a little more. Because in the first trimester, it was, like, super simple, super, super simple. It was just real chill. Like, nothing really happened in the first trimester. It was just, like, I was tired all the time. And my boobs hurted. That's about it. But in the second trimester, like, those common uh, pregnancy symptoms really kicked in. Sleeping started sucking. Like, it was, it is so uncomfortable. I hate sleeping on my side. It doesn't feel good. I just want to sleep like on my back or my stomach, but obviously that's not possible. I wanted a pillow, but it was like, it's big and it's kind of expensive just to use for this one time. I think I'm okay with the pregnancy pillow. Oh, and also I got so freaking thirsty. Like I just, I was so thirsty for some reason. It was weird. I always needed water with me. So that is a must have and a symptom. You get super thirsty and you're going to need water all the time, all day, every day. Yeah. It sucks that you have to pee all the time, but you got to stay hydrated. And also another weird symptom that I had during the second trimester was bloody boogers. <laughs> like every morning I would have like blood in my boogers. Well, it wasn't like liquid blood. Or sometimes like when I would blow my nose, it would actually be like blood particles or whatever. But like my boogers would be bloody. Like they would be red. Not like regular booger color, but they would be bloody color. <laughs> they would be red. It was weird. And every day. But it kind of stopped after, like towards the end of the second trimester. Like once I turned to the third trimester or whatever, the bloody boogers have subsided. <laughs> Um, and I also have during the second trimester, if you've been experiencing like nausea is preggy pops. I didn't experience nausea too much, but they were delicious and they were good. They were like little candies. And like, even if I had like the slightest little tummy ache, I don't know if it was nausea or not, but I had them or ate them or whatever and they worked and they taste really good. So get you some preggy pops. So you definitely need some type of maternity bottoms. I tried really hard, like not to, um, not to buy like pregnancy clothes because I didn't want to waste money on like clothes that you're only going to wear for like maybe six months. But there was like a certain point in the second trimester, maybe around 20, 20 weeks, I'd say, where like your stomach grows and your pants just don't fit. Um, either get like a belly band that you can wear over your pants 
and just have them unzipped. But honestly, maternity jeans or pregnancy leggings, anything like that, they're super comfortable and you kind of need them. Just, just one pair is all. Just one. Did I say that my boobs were getting bigger? Yeah, they all, but my boobs did grow a lot and it's become really annoying because now my bras don't fit and now they just like... They just like sag over the freaking waistband and I really hate it now. Like I don't want to wear bras but I have to because my nipples will show. But ugh, yeah, boobs and bras. It's horrible. I'm really, yeah, boobs and bras. I hate bras. Um, I would also recommend squatting like whenever you can um, during any, all of the trimesters which I am doing right now. Um, it's just a good stretch and it really opens up your pelvis uh, and kind of helps you prepare for birth. So I do a lot of squatting. I'd also recommend yoga. That's good for stretching and relaxation. I mean, everybody knows yoga is good for you, but I have been doing and I'm sure it'll benefit me when birth time comes. And then also another thing that I really enjoyed or that I like drinking during the second trimester was herbal teas or just any kind of teas um obviously caffeine free um those are really good for you you can look up all the benefits to different kinds of teas i'm not going to go through all of them but that's just something that i really needed during this trimester especially since it was cold as fuck here in washington and the last thing uh, you definitely are going to need some type of oil <laughs> oil you're definitely going to need some type of oil butter lotion anything like that for that big ass belly that's about to grow off your skin moisturize and exfoliate and i think that's pretty much all you need for the second trimester you don't need too much because it starts to get a little more real as the trimester continues but it's still quite manageable once you get to the third trimester it's a whole nother story we'll get into that later but yeah overall the second trimester was pretty all right. I survived. I'm here. So it wasn't that bad. Yeah, the second trimester is a good time. Um, not as fun as the first though, because you're like super small, not showing at all. And I wouldn't say you have more energy because I was tired both trimesters. But yeah, I think that's about it for this second. Oh, wait. Let me show you a belly update, a belly update or a bump date. Well, I don't know if you can see, but this is what I look like. Just gonna like lunge in front of the camera. That's from the side. <laughs> this is that. And that's me. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Bye, Ding Dong.